Welcome everybody to Dow of the Day. This is Martin John, your host. I am ready to take your number between 1 and 81, and we can talk about the Dow. The Dao De Ching is an ancient text written about 600 BCE, presumably by Lao Tzu. Of course, all ancient texts have their uh, have their mythology, as does the uh, the Tao, and um, I don't never really like getting into the mythology of what the Tao, uh, how the Tao arose. It is with us, and we use it. You know, ancient texts are great because they really kind of dive into the depths of what we're heading into. You know, ancient texts like this, written, like I said, 600 BCE. So what is that? Like 3,000 years ago, and that's a big deal. Right, right. Like, like something that was written that long ago has something to teach us about an age that we don't have access to, right? and that that age is something like when we think about maturation and we think about schooling and we think about how we grow and live, we we have to take into consideration so much. We have to take into consideration all of our past. Right, you are a product of everything that happened before you. And if an ancient text was written about that time and was written about the things that were going on and were a concern to people during that time, we do want to pay attention. We want to pay attention because it's so important to us to continue growing with the experiences that we've had. Now, just like you don't remember what happened in your childhood always, all of those, all of those incidents are still with you whether you recall it or not. I remember a time in my childhood where I remembered every day of my life. And that went away at some point. And it was really interesting to me when that happened. And it was just, I don't know, it was either me trying to be able to grow and mature. And as I did that, I, I started to lose my past. But my past was never lost. It's still all in there somewhere. I mean, I'm presuming it's still all in there. And when we talk about the Tao, we talk about ancient times, we have to talk about the idea that, oh, all of this stuff that's happened to everybody is still affecting us, even though we don't know what it was. So I like to look at ancient texts. The Tao is my go-to. There's the Bhagavad Gita. And there's other texts as well. Uh, there's Confucius, writings by Confucius. And, and, um, and, and when we start to, you know, Buddhist texts and other things like that, when we start to look at those, we start to really incorporate and engage ourselves in a lot of history and history of who we are and history of our consciousness. And so if you step up and pick a number between 1 and 81, we'll read your Tao for the day. And I would love to share the Tao with you. Like I said, the Tao De Ching translates at, as the canon of reason. It is the collection of writings, the canon, that helps us live a reasonable life. And if you're interested in living a more reasonable life, I would love to be able to cover the Tao with you. Yesterday I was really happy because, um, or this morning I actually finished translating um, chapter 16, um, and hopefully by the end of the day today I'll be done with 17 and 18, but we shall see. I'd love to read to you 16 of my translation, and then maybe we can figure out, oh Kelly, Hey, Hello. how are you doing? How are you? Um, I'm a little grumpy today. How are You're you? You're grumpy. I I'm am. Grumpy. I'm. I'm. I'm doing okay. I'm not. Not grumpy. <laughs> how are you? Because it's so good to be grumpy. Because everything makes you just like so mad. It seems so bad when you're grumpy. You know. Everything. Yeah. And nothing. But, yeah. You know. Like. And. And even things that try and make you feel happy, you could resent. Yes, resentment. Oh, right. Yeah. I that. Oh, that brewing up. Um, thanks for asking. You're good. I am good. Congrats on your 16. Yay for What's 16. that? Said yay for 16. Yay for 16. Yeah, I felt I felt good about what 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 happened with 16. Oh, um, I'll be listening in for that 
can, can I give you a number? Yeah, give me, yeah, what's your number? Is that good? Do you want a number yes, right I now? Yes, I want a number. Okay. Oh, crap. I was going to go for one, but now it's another. 27. Not the one I was going to pick, but it is the one I'm picking. 27. A good traveler has no fixed plans and is not intent upon arriving. A good artist lets his intention lead him wherever it wants. A good scientist has freed himself of concepts and keeps his mind open to what is. Thus, the master is available to all people and doesn't reject anyone. He is ready to use all situations and doesn't waste anything. This is called embodying the light. What is a good man but a bad man's teacher? What is a bad man but a good man's job? If you don't understand this, you will get lost, however intelligent you are. This is the great secret. Hmm. I started a story two nights ago about a secret. Mm. And it's very, you know, conceptual, like Taoish is, you know, yeah. poetic. And so it's funny that that's how that ended there. Mm. And I really like what is a good man, if not or a bad man, but if not a good man's job, or however. That yeah. Is. So, so you know, as it relates to you know, Grumpy Kelly, <laughs> you know, what is what is a good man but a bad man's teacher? And so, you know, you currently have access to you know, Grumpy Kelly. Mm -hmm. And so, what is a bad man but a good man's job? And so here it is you are grumpy in this moment but you know that things are going to change and that you this isn't where you want to be but that doesn't mean you're not grumpy you can go ahead and be grumpy that's okay when you're done being grumpy and the higher version of kelly kind of arises you can kind of look back and be like well what made me grumpy am i am i aware of what made me grumpy you know and and you know, being grumpy often, you know, I mean, it could have nothing. It could just be like, you know, it could be on the halt scale. Dude, have we ever talked about halt? Hungry, angry, lonely, tired? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so if, if you're, you know, like maybe you just need some food or some rest, you know, maybe you just need to talk to a buddy. You know, and because like being in that state, is really difficult because like like I said you can even resent people for making you want to feel better because it's just like no I'm grumpy and I feel kind of good being grumpy it feels kind of like home sometimes it's like uh, nope. I mean no like I, I don't like I don't get I don't like mad you know what I mean like I don't I don't want it I just want to flow I just want to flow Damn it. <laughs> well, <laughs> can, really can, 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 can you flow and be grumpy? Not me, can you Martin flow, John. <laughs> can you flow with the grumps, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, that's, you know, a good traveler has no fixed plans and is not intent upon arriving. So here it is. You're like, I want to get out of the grumps. But maybe the grumps are important to get to where you're going. What if you don't? What if you know why you're grumpy though, and oh. and it still does it like, you know, it's like that just makes you more mad, right? Because you're like, mm. oh, sometimes, sometimes this story, you know. So you know, like, what you, what is? I mean, do you want to share the story, or is it the same old harangue? It's the freaking same thing as always. Yeah, it's just it's finding myself in the same like thing and going, no, I'm not gonna allow. I, I this is different, but I'm like quite aware of how muddy this downslope is and I don't want to slip, you know, and I'm not even like, I'm aware to not focus on that. Like there's so much awareness, but still the feeling arises and it's a bit overwhelming, you know, it, yeah. because the fear sets in, right? Like, yeah, fear. you know, and, and I think, you know, if we were to look at 27 and, and, and like hone in on one aspect, it would be, Thus, the master is available to all people and doesn't reject anyone. Mm, that's so. Right? Because why is he, why does he not reject anyone? Because he's not intent upon arriving anywhere. Mm. He's allowing his intuition to lead him 
even through the grumps. And um, he's freed himself of concepts, the concept of what you know people should or should not be or do. You know, so the master is available to all people because he's not intent upon a rival. He's not. Um, he's he's he does. He's not holding on to uh, concepts of people or things, and he's allowing his intuition to guide him forward. He's ready to use all situations and doesn't waste anything. So that's an interesting question. Is there is there a situation that you feel mm -hmm. at this moment maybe? Is there an opportunity to feel or think or do something that you're wasting at this moment? We don't well, that's like part of it about. because it's like I feel really like I got some momentum on something that I'm excited about, right? So they like putting myself as an important person, but there's so much that just suddenly like it's like a tornado decides to hit every time I'm like, okay, okay. Like I, I got this, like the, the ice is thick enough to walk on the lake. And then like, and then suddenly like the sun comes out and it's 120 degrees and you know, it's like, yeah, now you're in the middle of the lake. And yeah, it's sudden, like, come on. Like it couldn't have possibly, it was negative five a second ago, you know, that kind of feeling of like how yeah. and what. Well, and, you know, even just asking the question how and why is being, you know, not a good scientist, right? Because a good scientist has freed himself of concepts and his mind, to op his mind is open to what is. It is not, like, because right now the how and why means there is a concept and we're not open to what is. You're, you're open to what you want it to mm, be. That's true, but... Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's hard. It's not, this isn't, this isn't, you know, this isn't, you know, easy work. Like the idea is like, we are challenging ourselves and our minds. You know, your mind wants to be in control and it's not, it never will be. And so letting your mind be quiet, even in the face of this, and allowing that which is, because your concept of how it's supposed to go, because you're now excited about something, is getting in the way of the universe giving it to you. Because it's not giving it to you in the way your mind expects it to come. You're right. That's that's true, although, you know, there's always that. If there but is it's an definitely although, something to if, meditate if there, on. If there is an although, that's coming from your mind. You know what I can hear in this? I can, I can hear, I really, when it gets like this, I stop checking in with what to do with myself. I then allow the external to be my guiding forces instead of myself. Mm -hmm. What is a good man, but a bad man's teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you don't check in, you're not teaching. So like fear totally, totally puts right. you in, you know, fight and flight. But if I pause and just say, what next? And listen to myself, then there's no place for fear, even in the future. Because that's right. Absolutely. I actually do know. Yes. What is a bad man, but a good man's <laughs> job? And when you, you say, I do know, the person that's coming up is the good man. Yeah. And the bad man is getting in the way and just kind of trying to control the situation. And this is why, if you don't understand this, you will get lost, however intelligent you are. And Kelly, you're intelligent. And you're, and you're using your intelligence to try and like predict and understand but if you don't understand this idea of like not having a fixed plan, not allowing your intuition to guide the way, and even your intuition wants to guide the way in when you have a fixed plan. But then, you know, and so these are three things. You have to free yourself of concepts, 
not have a fixed plan and let your intuition guide the way. And when those three come into play, if you're like, oh, I can't be intuitive because this thing happened. Well, this thing happened and it's only problematic because you have a fixed plan or you have a concept. You know, forever, like for so, so many years, like a hundred because I'm so old. But like, I I notice all the things, right? Like I notice and I'm like, I, I see my patterns, like it's really completely like clear to me. But the, the hang up is always the same place. And I notice this too. I'm like, okay, like I, I know I'm recognizing the feelings and the triggers and blah, blah, blah. But now here I am. And it's not enough. Like it's not solving it. These like parts and pieces but I do actually feel that shift because when you said let go of the concept right there I was like the word concept really stuck out and definitely right like yeah. it's definitely an aspect that I wasn't including in myself of which I have gotten a lot better at in the last five months a year been very helpful with that and um because I just didn't just didn't add that in, you know, that belief about what the future is going to be versus just allowing. Yeah. You know, and, 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 you know, in this verse, I mean, we look at these three aspects as working together, because if you hold on to a concept of what's supposed to be, then that could get in the way of your intuition. And so then you want to do something because if you do something, you will move the concept forward mm -hmm. and it could get in the way of you not having a fixed plan. Because if you have a concept of what something is supposed to be, well, then all of a sudden you, you make plans that way. You make plans around, like if you know that the sun is supposed to come up in the morning, then you will make plans as if that's the case. The day that it doesn't is going to freak you the fuck out. Yeah, I suppose that would freak me out. Right? The day <laughs> that the sun does not rise, like, nobody is going to be calm about that because they have a concept that it's supposed to. Or right? that n it not rising is a terrible thing, which right, science right. might agree, but whatever. Yeah, right. well, yeah I mean, yeah. <laughs> Learn. But you know, like, I mean, think about people that, that like go out for a thing and, and then it rains and they're like, but it's not supposed to rain. And I like, never look I, at the weather, but yeah, I hear yeah, you. Like whether it's, you know, whether it's like their wedding or whatever, it's, uh, like, it's yeah. not supposed to do this. And it's just yeah. like, well, right, what? nothing is supposed to happen. This, so, is, it, this is the best. This is just, I have to tell you before my time is out, like, this is the best, best lesson I keep getting a little more fast at and recognizing yeah. thank you because like you did actually bring this to my awareness in a way that was very like digestible because oh. you, you I get stuck i get stuck be in my own self-created loops of these things and well it's dumb and i don't want it and like but yeah. i it's we need to, these connections we need the we need each other no matter how great we are at helping others we need help you know so thank yeah you. i appreciate you so freaking much Okay. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm going to be doing, are you, are you, what time are you doing the love wave? I, I think I'm just filling in a gap or something, oh. you know, like I'll just be like showing up and helping. I think maybe Sunday morning at like 12 a.m. my time to 3 a.m. my time because oh, that was okay. the space. But yeah, if you're that, up early on Monday. Sunday morning or Monday morning? Well, so Monday, yeah. Sunday Monday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be doing, um. Because it's all Eastern time, so I'm doing 6 a.m. So I will not be able to check out yours because I'll need sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate you coming up. Um, and thank you, everybody, for listening to Dow of the Day. And I, uh, I appreciate you guys and, and everything that you guys do. I'm making a short Dow today. I'm going to go run. Um, so have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for all of the love. And until next time, keep recovering yourself.